everybody, Jeff Stone here with day 36 of the year 2015. We're checking out uh, the Lynx wallet here on magicreviewed.com. One wallet, one envelope, any named card. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that's sort of true. Yeah, it is. That is the effect for sure. Uh, name any card and that, and in fact, I'm going to actually, I'm going to do it, which is weird because, you know, how can I have you name any card? But let me just show you essentially what could happen. Hold your wallet out. You show that I've got a, an envelope in here, and you can let them dig around in there, you know, just see that there's no other envelope in there. The wallet goes on the table right there in plain view, and then you have them name a card. You can do that whatever process you want, uh, but it is a free choice. So I'm just, I've got a shuffled deck here. I'm just going to cut to a card, all right? So six of diamonds, all right? So the moment that they name the, the card that out loud, the six of diamonds, I can actually reach into the wallet, pull out the envelope, and show you without a problem that that is the And also I can show there's nothing else in the envelope too. So there you go, empty envelope, and show the six of diamonds was the card in the envelope. That's the effect, and it's that fast, and that really was truly a random card. I had no idea which card was going to be cut to. That's the, that's the effect that you're getting. Um, now, uh, it's an index, but it's it's a little clever, cleverer than that. Um, first, let me show you. I can pull out of this wallet any card you name, and look. It's not like the wallet like doesn't look super thick or anything. It's pretty good size. Now it's a little bigger than a normal wallet. This is my Walmart wallet. You guys have been seeing a lot of every day. Same height, but just a little bit wider there. But it's the same height. But that's that's it. Now this is also loaded with four uh, credit cards here. These are regular credit cards uh, that I took out of my wallet because they claim that you can use this as an everyday wallet as well. Uh, also in the zippered compartment I've got uh, five ESP cards which are a little bit stuck in. There we go. Get out. There we go. So five ESP cards which are normally my regular wallet. So. Uh, take those out the wallet's even thinner if I didn't have my credit cards in there uh, it would be even thinner you know I mean just look at that just super thin and I can still produce any named card out of this thing right here so that's the effect that you're getting um, he you know they would talk about having um, other props or something inside the zipper like some coins rubber bands uh, if I were to put this into my repertoire I would not be able to use this in my everyday wallet. Even though it is super thin, all of my stuff won't fit in it that I would want in my regular everyday wallet. Um, and uh, it is, um, it's a little bit too bulky for me. I mean, again, it's not very big, but I like a really small, thin wallet. So if I were to put this in my repertoire, what I would do is I would fill this with other, like a packet trick, and some other things that were card tricks or maybe uh, Mark Janest's, um, uh, you know, magic card or something like that and things of that nature. Maybe the ESP cards, some coins or rubber bands. I'm not much of a coin guy, but maybe some rubber bands, some business cards or something like that. And this would be its own little routine here. And I would use it in a strolling situation. Um, and that would be it. And that would be sort of my strolling wallet. Um, I already have a wallet sort of set up like that, but this is not a bad addition to a strolling set. Is literally any named card to wallet. Um, they're not to wallet, but is predicted in the wallet. Also, uh, there's a stage version of it on the DVD or on the ad trailer. Um, I I will make sure that I have a link to that in the written review over at magicreview.com. I'll just embed the video there. It's like five and a half minutes long. But the basic idea is it's the same thing. He just gets the girl up on stage to name the card and has a lot of fun with her. And it's actually a relatively funny routine and it has a lot of potential. And so you might be interested in that and, and you can just learn it by watching uh, the video there. And then of course, if you bought the wallet and everything. So the wallet and, and everything you get is a hundred bucks. Um, what you're getting is a whole bunch of these. <laughs> And a whole bunch of these. Um, these are very thin, very, very thin cards. Super, super thin. And the wallets are pretty dang thin as well. And like I said, with all of them in the wallet, it's still, I mean, it's not, this is not a bulky wallet. And I can 
I can have any card named and I can get it quickly. You saw how quickly I was able to pull that six of diamonds out of there. So the, the effect, you've seen it um, just now. Also, there's another effect, any card at any number. Um, if you use a mem deck or you can just use a crib sheet on the back of the card box. But the way that effect works is you have the deck in the box um, and they say you have them name any number in the deck. Uh, 1 through 52, whatever number they name, you know, if you use a mem deck, you know what how to tell what that card is, or if you have a crib sheet, what that card is. And so before they even count to that number, you can remove the wallet, the envelope from your wallet and put it on the table, and it's there the whole time. And then they deal down to that card, and they turn it over, and let's say it's the Six of Diamonds again, and then, bam, you show the Six of Diamonds was the one in the envelope that's been sitting on the table the whole time. So those are the two effects you get. The method, very good. This is a very good quality wallet. It's very well made. Uh, it's a nice looking wallet. And if you don't have a lot of stuff that you keep in your regular personal wallet, you could use this as your everyday wallet. Um, but certainly in a strolling set or in a show, you could put a few other things in here and have a nice little routine all in this wallet. And uh, everything about this is, is very, very easy to do. Um, there's I want to say there's memory work, but I, that's not even the right thing. Um, I, 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 yeah, it's very, 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 very little thinking involved in doing this. So super clean effect. But if I were to stop the review right now, five stars, four and a half, five stars. Easy. But for dramatic effect, I will pause, <coughs> take a drink of water, and let you think about what's coming next. Oh, that's cold. But the ad copy says you can hand the wallet out for examination. Are you kidding me? I'm half tempted to expose the gimmick right now because they said you could hand it out for examination. And if I handed it out to you for examination, you would see everything. You cannot hand this out for examination. Um, it also says that the envelope is examinable. That's true. This envelope is not gimmicked. This card, however, is. This card is not examinable. And I will just say that having that black envelope behind this card is very useful in protecting the method. I think you know what I mean. Wink, wink. If you don't know what I mean, sorry. So it's not exactly like you're going to go, well, here, examine this envelope, but don't examine this card. That's kind of stupid. So talking about the envelope being examinable bugs me a little bit. Um, and, you know, if I hold the card here, we're okay, you know. So, and I can hold it against here, we're okay. Um, but you kind of need the envelope to be, to sort of stay with the card. But it's true, the envelope is examinable. But handing the wallet out to be examined, that is just BS. So, now, here's the only thing I could think of. Uh, I, I'm trying to give these guys the benefit of the doubt because this really is a good quality product. Uh, and they don't, their English isn't their, um, their first language, um, from what I can tell. And so I'm wondering if this is what happened. If you go watch the video of the close-up performance, which is the one that I've got on magicreview.com as the uh, ad video, the way he does it, he's got some money and stuff in the wallet, and then he's got this card here or this envelope here. He shows the envelope. He says, I've just got this one envelope. And then he says, reach in there and make sure there's no other envelopes or anything else in there. And they can reach in there and examine this part of the wallet to their heart's content, as long as you're holding on to it, okay? Uh, and then you put the wallet, the envelope back in, you close the wallet up, and you hand it to them immediately, and they can hold on to it. If they open that wallet up and start looking, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> looking around, they're going to find stuff, okay? So if by that, looking in there like that, they meant it's examinable, fine. But the words they use, they said, hand it for a spectator to examine. They said, hand it for a spectator to examine, which sounds like, you know, hand it to the spectator for them to examine. So I had a real problem with that, a big problem. If you can overlook that and you now know exactly how examinable or not examinable this really is, um, the, I just explained it to you. You can let them dig around all they want while you hold it. 
And which kind of makes sense. I mean, it is your wallet. And you're letting them put your their hand in it. it. It's not. It wouldn't be exactly natural for them to snatch the wallet and go, let me see that. That'd be weird because it's invading your personal private stuff. And so to do that and say, look, there's one envelope in there. Is there anything else in there? Feel around. There's just my money or whatever. I think that's a very fair way to have this examined. Then they hand, hold the wallet. When they name their card, you take the wallet back, you open it, and you pull out whatever using the rest of the system that makes this work. If you don't mind that, you're going to love this. And I, I think it's, an, it's a very, very, very well done product. Very smart method. Very easy to manage. Um, I just had a big problem with that ad copy, and that is a big deal for me. So final verdict, three stars. Still getting a stone status of gem because this is solid, 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 solid. And if you don't mind that you can't truly hand the wallet out to be examined, this is a, a good deal. Get it. By the way, you could use this wallet um, if you wanted to for uh, the heirloom effect. I just recently reviewed the heirloom deluxe wallet. Um, you could use this wallet for that, but um, there's a, a nice feature. Um, well, you know what? No, you, I was going to say that there's a nice feature about the heirloom wallet, which lets you show that there's nothing else in the wallet besides that one um, image. But you could do that same thing with this wallet as well. So, yeah, this could be used for the heirloom. Now, of course, if you use this for the heirloom wallet, you won't be able to do the effect of name any card and it appears in here. So, anyway. It's a weird deal. If you want to do heirloom and this, I mean, what do you do? Carry around two wallets? I don't know. Just don't know. Anyway, final verdict. Three star stone status of gems. Time for you to like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And listen to the random my team song of the moment, which happens to be, wow, God Bless the USA by Lee Greenwood from like 1980s, man. I love this song. Um, you guys may be noticing that... Uh, I've been cutting off the random iTunes songs pretty quickly. Uh, that's because YouTube has been spanking me for um, copyright content. I've got one DVD uh, trailer. It's a trailer to my video, Gemstones. The music on there is mine. My, it's my brother. My brother made the music. He gave it to me for the video. And they're making me not... They're saying that it's copyright um, violation. I'm like, are you kidding me? I own the music. Um, then the other day I, on uh, Cameron Francis's wallet transformer, I thought, based on a suggestion from somebody on my channel, I thought it'd be great to put the um, ad trailer in the review. So it would, you know, we would pause right now, we'd show the ad trailer, and then uh, we'd get back to the review. Well, I did that, and it busted me for copyright because the trailer is is duplicate content. So. Uh, the little, sometimes little snippets of the song, somehow YouTube picks up on that and it's too long. And so I'm just, I'm done playing around with it, guys. Uh, so sorry if we're getting too short of it, but you can always click the link in the description below, which you should do. So tune in tomorrow, day 37, Friday, um, the 6th of February, 2015, where we're still continuing with our wallet week. Uh, we've got the undercover wallet tomorrow. Uh, and we got two more wallets after that, and then we're done with the wallets, folks, for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.